Thank you very much for joining us today, Chief Inspector Clive Collins. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, I know you've got a bit of a presentation to kick us off, and we're really interested to see what you're up to. The importation or the illegal importation and exportation of wildlife is the fourth highest industry after drugs humans and firearms, then wildlife comes there. And it accounts, I think, worldwide for £23 billion. Pounds. Massive. It's, which is huge. I mean, the model that we operate within the county, and I think it works really well, is we've got 25 rural beat managers who receive specialist training and are embedded within our communities. But those who commit rural crime tend to be linked to urban crime, and then also quite often linked to serious and organised crime as well. In terms of our approach, our commitment really, uh, I've, I've listed there five key things for me. The first one is about improving engagement, and then encouraging reporting and uh, an accurate recording. Then in terms of fighting rural and wildlife crime, that's about working, a lot of the time it's about working with partners and working with our communities again. Around protecting the most vulnerable, that's really about, uh, for me, um, what we call problem solving triangle in policing. So it's making sure that we're managing offenders effectively, that when we, that when we target offenders, we find the most appropriate disposal for them. And whether that be prison or whether that be sort of lower level community rehabilitation that we do that effectively and that we manage offenders so we know somebody's up to something and we've got the opportunity to put in a curfew to be able to then do curfew checks that we're doing all that properly in terms of the victims it's about making sure that they feel heard they feel valued and that we're we're properly engaging with them and we're keeping in touch with them when they've been a victim of crime and then it, with with regard to locations Obviously, very kindly, through the Safe for All funding, you've uh, paid for a crime prevention officer for Bassett Law, Newark and Sherwood, and it's about target hardening locations, identifying where the weaknesses are, and doing that through speaking to people, but also through looking where crimes are occurring. Ultimately, all those things uh, roll, roll into sort of the commitment, which is in line with the, the Chief Constable's pledge, which is about making sure that we are in a position to fight crime and protect the vulnerable, to ultimately, enhance confidence in our service within our communities.